Mm-hmm. And we're recording, so we're on you. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I gotta oh, yeah, record this for, for Tracy. Uh, for Tracy. <clears throat> Apps never stay where they're supposed to be. So it looks like we're going to start without Bill then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, it is 6.15. We will call this meeting to order. Uh, as everybody, we don't have minutes though, so I'm so used to doing it. We'll move on down to downtown development number two then. Yep. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we just have one item on the agenda. Uh, for this evening and that is the awarding of the contract for the gateway sign and directional sign bid um, we had five businesses uh, reply to the bid and submitted bids um, we are recommending the lowest bid which is ACSM out of Charlotte North Carolina um, their bid was considerably lower than everyone else's and we um, Sarah Hefty, the finance director, and I, we reviewed the bids when, when, we, when we opened them and um, was kind of taken off guard by the, uh, the bid because it's considerably different than the other ones um, to the point where we almost considered, you know, just taking that one out. But um, we did do some due diligence. We um, called all of the references, actually emailed them. The response from the references are in the packages that you all got. Um, every reference said that the projects that they that this company did for them came in close to what they were bid out. I actually called the um, the group, the, the the owner of this company, just reviewed the project with them just to make sure that they kind of understood all the scope, what we were asking for, how many signs it was. Um, he said, you know, he re we reviewed it on the phone. He went through it. He said he understood what the project was. Um, and he said that they knew that they were aggressive on the price. Um, one of the things that they manufacture the signs in-house. Um, so uh, after that, I kind of felt good about it. Um, of course, you just never know. <laughs> I mean, I would say, you know, the only um, thing that Stacy and I will, when we do the contract, is make sure that there's a lot of protection on our end as far as making sure because um, there were some comments about making sure you're very specific about what you wanted and the time frame and all of that. So um, having said that, that's, that's our recommendation from a staff standpoint is that we go with ACSM out of Charlotte, North Carolina. at 76,000 and some change. You have my packet, so I don't... 372. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, uh, as you will recall, we, the DDA received a check uh, from the Tourism Product Development fee the seventy two thousand dollars and some change we will actually need to take i think it's like forty six hundred and some change out of the dda account to make up the rest of that money for the bid um so that we can pay for the whole project so this will come out of the dda account that tracy has in yeah yeah and uh it's the money that went in that account anyway anyway mm -hmm. yeah Chris, on, there's a cap, the capital expenditure, of course, is the purchase of the signs and the installation. What is the annual? That, well, I, I put the four, $4,600 under the annual because that will need to come out of the DDA's other account. If We, ha we received $72,000 from the city from Hotel Motel Tax to do the gateway sign, but it's not enough to cover the whole bid price. So we'll need to use some of our money to cover up the rest, to cover the rest of the project. So you were just saying that's coming out of our annual budget, right? That's what yeah, you they, that. Come, yeah. For the annual budget. Yeah, because yep. the the seventy two thousand was for a capital project, so I just put right. that under the capital line. Okay. The, uh, we called the other folks and asked them about the, the, their experience with this company, and they had the good replies. Obviously, the company's done this a number of times, so they know what they're getting into, and they know right. what's expected. Um, I think that's. Sounds pretty solid, really. Yeah. Well, they, you know, according to all the information we found and the information they gave us, they've been in business in some capacity doing this for around 50 years. It's a second-generation company, so, um, I mean, it's 
we, we did our due diligence as best we could without actually ever working with the company before. So, What is the time limit on the... Um, well, this is their... their um, the bid package, and I would have scanned it, but it's this, so <laughs> there's no way for me to scan it. But y'all are more than welcome to look at it. But they put a timeline in here. Uh, so they're suggesting that it should take about four to five months from the time that the contract signed and we make a deposit. Um, so uh, the first part is some of the pouring of concrete footers, that's about a 30-day. Fabrication is a 90-day process, and the installation will be another 60 days. Um, a lot of that's contingent, and they put in this proposal about GDOT, because we'll have to get a lot of right-of-way mm -hmm. um, acquisition from GDOT, because everything is on a state route. Right. Um, so that, depending on how long it takes to get those, but um, GDOT's been pretty good with working with us in the past, so I, I don't see an issue with that. Any questions? Any motions? Yeah, I make a motion that we approve the bid from um, ACSM for the gateway signage. Our second. Carl, a second by Bill. Bill. <laughs> <me>. Tom. <laughs> All in favor? Unanimous. 4 0. All right. Anything else? That's all we got for tonight. I make a motion we adjourn. All right. Got a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. Motion to second. It is 621, Tracy.